Hey guys, welcome back to Vampire. I have some tragic news. So I realized that we hadn't played uh, Vampire in a few weeks. Been super busy. Uh, so I went and did an episode. It was an hour and ten minutes long. And the file is corrupt. And I cannot get it back. I am heartbroken. So this is what happened. Um, we basically, we walked through around um, Whitechapel... We discovered um, the writer. Let me go into the eye and I'll show you uh, into do, 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 the people. Uh, no, not there. Right here. We discovered, um, not Palmer. Where is this young gentleman? This guy, the Richard guy, who is the writer who is basically in love with the um, Camellia lady, which is uh, she's right here. And uh, she's a mutant, like all this other stuff. Ah, oh, man, I'm just, I'm, I'm really bummed out. I just spent like a good twenty minutes trying to figure out how to, how to un unscrew a corrupt file, and it just, it, it wasn't working, which so sucks. But I want to do you guys a video um, today for Vampire since we did um, a Shadow of War when the patch came. This really kind of sucks. I'm really kind of bummed. Um, but we, we did end up confronting. Dorothy Crane, um, and we did uh, the cinematic dialogue stuff, and there's, like, this person on the table. Uh, I feel really bad that we don't have any of that footage. I have some screenshots that I was going to make thumbnails and everything, but other than that, I got nothing. I got nothing. It sucks. But anyway, so Dorothy Crane, um, we have this confrontational dialogue with her. Um, we discover all of the stuff for um this guy and we also cured him uh he had bronchitis so we gave him um some bronchitis -y, um healing agents and stuff but um yeah we had a conversation with her we used our um we enchanted her we used our kind of like our vampire not mesmer we didn't we didn't kill her we didn't embarrass her or nothing, um, but we did a uh, charm. That's what it was. It was a charm. Uh, uh, we made her forget her blackmail. And so then we went back to our um, our lady in um, Pembroke here. Uh, where is she? Is she around here? No. He's dead. Is she not, like, a part of the people? But the lady that was being blackmailed, we went back to her and had the dialogue, and then she, we walked in on her as she was feeding on a terminally ill patient and stuff. So we discover that she is a vampire as well, and we have this dialogue about um, vampires and everything, and they're actually called Ekons, and, um, and we are a rare breed, and it's very cruel that this person made Jonathan the way that he did and just kind of like left him to discover his situation on his own. And also, um, we discussed about hearing the voice in our head, and she's like, silence, you must never talk about that ever again. And then she references the fact that the uh, my, our maker could possibly be a higher um, or an elder. Um, so that is kind of crazy. Kind of giving me the, um, the vibes from um, the vampire series. What is that called now? It's with Kate Beckinsale. Why am I forgetting this stuff? But yeah, her, her, the person that made her was an elder, and he in turn um, was the person that actually killed her family uh, in a brutal, savagely way because he, you know, is a monster. But, you know, yeah, that one. Uh, man, I'm going to get flack for not knowing that one, am I? <laughs> anyway, um, so we ended up going back to the chapel and having that, all that conversation, and we... We took a vial of the patient that we tried to save with Dorothy Crane. Uh, we took a vial of that blood back for future study because his symptoms followed the, f the Spanish influenza. But then the final stuff about his like seizures and his like blood curdling, uh, you know, blood in the lungs and like all this other stuff was not uh, indicative of this. Um, Spanish flu. So we are now going to be inspecting the words the blood to see what is else the problem we also leveled uh maybe i should show you that guys too uh do, 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 do. how do i see that i don't think i have it oh yeah here so we got 
Blood Cauldron, which is a new ability that we haven't done before. But I figured we do Shadow Damage with the Shadow Mist. And we do physical damage and knockdown stuff. We have a heal. And uh, we have then, I figured, to do a different blood, t uh, a different damage type. And blood is one of them. So we do, we do our attack and then our knockdown stun stuff. And then we do our shadow and then our blood damage here. So never use this ability. We also leveled up our uh, big thirst right there to level 3. And we leveled up our blood um right there the uh the, the the blood capacity if uh if i can words so anyway guys thank you so much for watching all of our videos please hit that like button please subscribe come join us on discord we always like to meet new people and hang out with them so without further ado let's go we analyze that okay cool is that it uh, let's also recycle this stuff down, get some parts. We also use some of our our reagents, so maybe we should use... Yep, yep, we need to make a bronchitis here. And pneumonia, we're short potassium. How rude. How rude indeed. We need to craft... Can we upgrade our weapon here to this... We can upgrade we shall okay also enhanced handling decreases stamina consumption that's awesome adds three stun we need stamina consumption because we are out of stamina for days we also got jumped by some by some hunters in this really cool kind of boss fight between two guys one was like a guy that shot like fiery stuff the other guy was like a melee guy and then two assistant guys kept kept coming in and trying to take us out um which was really interesting. So we now have a level three good barbed um, cu cudgel. Is that how I'm saying that right? Um, <laughs> interesting. Dude, that's cool. 160 damage. We're going to wreck some face, guys. Um, I wish we had something cooler than just like a staff that has, you know, barbed. Razvan Vasily was infected by Spanish flu, but also has the highly unstable blood of the Skulls. Is the London vampire epidemic transmitted through the flu? I should talk to Dr. Swansea about it. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's go and do that one um, for sure. So, yeah, that's really unfortunate, guys. I am super, super bummed out about um, that. We also, we also came to be, um, what was it? It was, um, we ran into a room, or a kind of like an area. Oh, wait, can we? Interesting. Keep it all? Yeah? Okay. Uh, we also ran into the continuation of the blackmail thing. So, actually, let's go over here to quests. Let's see. Succeeded. 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 Yeah, the blackmail... Rat in the hospital and night shift. That's a thing. What about our regular investigations? Where are that? So, collectibles. Man, sometimes this... This this, this stuff is just... Uh, the menu system for this. I just want a regular... This is the main quest. Where's our investigations? Let's go over here. Merchants, yeah, see, here's the, our, you know, report on mysterious disappearances have escalated in the past weeks. Um, let's see. I don't see. Let's go talk to her. Since we already went... We also have a treatment for her friend. Um, we went... I can't see for the life of me. Where are investigations? Quest items? Nope. Alright, well, anyway. Anyway, that's disappointing. I'm gonna have to, like, look for that. Um, cause and effect. Let's go do that, and then let's go talk to our lady who thinks that she's a vampire because she's not a vampire. But we did um, figure out... We went in there, and there were some guys... They're, there's, they've been, like, watching Pembroke, um, which is interesting. So, 
without further ado, here he is. Evening, Edgar. Could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? What makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? I have a few leads, but nothing I can share for now. I need more time and more evidence. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the matter. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is. Want to be a little bit more quickly. cryptic with this guy? If we don't act, up order. the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. I admit it did occur to me. Blood seems to be the common factor in all of this. I totally agree. We're in uncharted territory here. Maybe it's just wishful thinking, but imagine the possibilities. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Crap. Well, isn't that just morbid? Am I to attend my own sister's funeral after I was the one that killed her? Yes. Yes, it indeed seems to be that is the course of my fate. Boom. <laughs> Let's go talk um, to to the uh, crazy lady down here. Uh, where are you? Oh, actually, let's also let's also cure him of his uh, 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 wrong room of his fatigue, and then that's our crazy lady right there. So. You also have a cold. We can cure you, too. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Uh... Yes. Do you need medical help yourself, Nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Dr. Reed. Ah, well... Not under my watch, Nurse. <laughs> Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Man, Reed. You, have guys, you guys have no idea how freaking awfully bad I feel that, like... That, Goodbye, that was an hour and ten minutes of like awesome. Je we fought like high level werewolves. They're like level sixteen. We were level eleven. Um, we fought evening, like every Mr. single enemy. Evening, Dr. Minus like five enemies were like all 15, 16, 17. and it was like super awesome fights. And I just soldier, do you man, need assistance? Not really. I just I, think I, I just feel so bummed. I just I really do. I swear I'm dead, yet smiling inside, Dr. Reed. As long as you remain here, I will make sure you don't have to worry about your health. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. This guy. This guy. You're recovering, bro. Can you calm down? R for details. <gasps> I can mesmer you. <laughs> also, we got a level now. two into mesmer because we um, talked to Dorothy Crane. The way that we did. Uh, ooh, ooh. 
Is she? Did she come back? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. There we go. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. But they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this <laughs> as a reward for your time. Oh, Perhaps that's I will nice. allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. Tell me, Thelma, why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. We've both suffered so much. He's the only mortal I... I find interesting. Interesting. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Well, that's good. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul. <laughs> Even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. <laughs> no, for I am a vampire doctor. Indeed. You crazy lady, you. We will leave, leave you. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, <laughs> to your nocturnal activities. Indeed. Uh, man, I just... For the love of... That's just so rude, guys. I never guys. thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. I swear. Yeah, that's a bit tragic, don't you think? I think it's tragic. Poor unfortunate soul. Yep, it kind of cleaned up things a little bit. Jeez, there they are again. Yep, let's try five. Oh, that didn't work. Why did that work? Oh. What just happened? Did you just see him explode? Holy biscuits! Our, our, our staff is also really awesome now. Like, that was insane. But, like, the guy imploded. Just wow. Did we already go in here? We already went in there before, right? We're on a mission, guys. We really are. Oh, are we? Am I lost? I feel like I am lost because I went up that one place. Let's let's try let's backtrack one day. One day I'll get back to where we were supposed to go. Ooh, 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 ooh. There. Much better. Go up here. Right? Are we going the right way? No? I feel like we're supposed to be going the right way. Yeah, we're going the right way. I cannot enter. What the deuce? Ooh? <laughs> I'm lost in Whitechapel, guys. I think I'm in Whitechapel. I'm pretty sure. Yeah?
You are disgusting, sir. Really? There we go. <laughs> I feel like... Holy crap. Oh, hey! How quaint. This is like that one place. Or is this another place? Off we go. <laughs> Maybe that was that one door that we said that we've been in before, um, but we went in there anyway. I'm getting, I'm getting lost. I'm getting. Maybe I should use the map. I don't know, guys. I'm a guy. I don't use maps. I just walk around till I'm lost until I'm, and then I'm found. Well, there's, there's. Jeez. All right, we found the people. There, is no protection against malevolence there we go. I know where I am now. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Really? This guy. Gotcha. You thugs. Alright. Anyway, off we go. Wait, why does it say reach the stone bridge? Oh, we're on the wrong one! Map! Guys, we suck. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to walk all the way back. BRBs. All right, guys, we are back in the Pembroke area. Um, figured to bring you guys back because I don't think we've ever been over here to where we're going. I think this is a new kind of area. Yep. Bloody hell. All I want to do is go to my sister's funeral and you sods get wrecked Really? I'm being, but oh crap! I don't have any stamina. There we go. Thank you. Jeez, guys, that was <laughs> that was more frustrating than anything else. I was. I was fumbling around my my buttons. Oh. Likely story rune. No, it's true. Honestly, I'm not that bad. <laughs> uh, what's this? Is this a bed? Ooh. 
Interesting. Wow. <laughs> oh, dude, we're like traveling around. Where we are going to the wrong place. We need to go. We need to go back though. This is this is cool. I mean, I'm having fun like effing and and zerping a boot. Um, but we are definitely needing to go. Oh, I have subverted them. Or not. And surprise! Over there! Yep, I am. Ooh, wrong button. Hold on. Okay, ready? Five. Check this out! Watch this! He exploded! That was awesome! Alright, alright, sorry. Sorry, that was that was cool to me. Alright, uh Right. So we're going up here. Zerp. My dear sister, I don't know if I have the strength. I feel so bad. Ooh, that's a cool screenshot right there. All right, let's continue. B. New investigation. Window in. Window in duress. What? Wait, huh? Somebody help! I'm coming! I am uh, currently busy. Somebody help! I am! Oh, for the love of get off of me! Oh my god, you little skulls. You know, stamina is a good thing. Uh, maybe I should get some. Just die. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm saving you. F. Are you alright, miss? I, I don't know. I Who don't are those know. people? They... They wanted to kill me. Why? Yes. They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Shun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Okay. Holy crap. Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies, I wonder? This man's far too old to be Samuel. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. Jeez, guys. That's worthy of a screenshot. Uh, this guy? Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. It's locked, all right. What? Blimey! Oh, man, there's a blood... I'm trying to go to my sister's funeral. I will follow you another time. Dude, there's scowl... There's... Wow, really? Really, Rune? Just get wrecked.
Get wrecked! And three. And one again. Thank you. I mean, I kind of feel bad for that guy, but at the same time... Dude, really? Jeez, there's like a thousand of them. Holy crap! There is a thousand of them! Alright, let's do five on that guy. And then... but I've been butt clenching for like five minutes. Holy crap. All right. Well, those guys are gone. <laughs> Jeez. Look at this. Like, this entire place is just screaming like, this is not a time to bury our sister. I'm telling you. Oh, look. There's even more of them. Oh. Really? <laughs> Get wrecked. And you're dead. And you're dead. <laughs> Good. Good. I like, you know, I mean, sometimes the, the, the combat is, is janky, I, I feel. Uh, maybe because I'm trying to shadow of war uh, the controls. So that's probably a my bad. Uh, how do we... Supposed to go up there. How does that happen? Is there, uh... Another spot? Maybe? Oh yeah, totally. Let's go over here. I'm always in the search for loot, guys. Always in the search for loot. I don't know, if, if this corrupts this time, I'm gonna be really mad. <laughs> really mad and I'm gonna do an announcement video being like guys I Since did I like can't reveal Ooh. myself to my mother now I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony there we go I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Man, our mom is old, dude. <laughs> Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. <laughs> Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam.
one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. I have a feeling we're going to be visited by somebody. Jonathan. Oh, yep. There is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered, and... and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How can I? I've destroyed my family. My poor mother. I can't even console her. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends, loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness. If you must. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good. But be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Man. <laughs> oh, jeez, guys. Well. Crap. Time for a confession. Uh, can I go up here? Uh, of course not. It's locked, all right. Why? Why would I be allowed to do anything uh, the normal way? I must go this way and fight more skulls, I think, or a bloody werewolf or something. Widow in distress, found her. Oh, what the deuce? Oh, the blood. Huh? White Chapel Old Road. Where is this? Oh! A place for me to put my head down. <gasps> There's that guy. He's unknown. How do I get to him? I don't know. Ooh, that was a drop. All right. And off to church he goes, a newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin, forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Uh... Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes Crap. to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. Okay, okay. Show, show me... Uh, uh, rule book? These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Get your weapons ready! 
We found one. Well, uh, you guys have fun with that. Oh, fine. I'm not a leech. But I'll kill you. Uh, well, you're not wrong. I did kill you. <laughs> All right, anyway. Here we go, my friends. To the chapel. Yes? What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. Tragic. May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, Vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. Okay. I've words for Let's one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? She was my sister. All right, we're gonna confess, you guys. Seem so troubled by the loss of this girl, what happened to her? She was murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? She died because of me. How do you think I feel? I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? Oh, crap. I killed you. There's no excuse. My dear Mary, forgive me. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten. If your words are sincere, go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. Oh, well. Ooh, loaded. Right. There. I confessed to that vicar. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. Man. Yes, I am. 
and swing and swing and swing and swing. Done. <laughs> uh, there's nothing like killing to make your soul feel good, huh? Oh crap! I'm turning to the dark side. It's my wife's fault, really. <laughs> what is this? Is it? What the? Did you just spawn? Hey, what's good? Bloody hell. Oh. <laughs> well, that happened. Uh. I'm just gonna jump up here. Oh, I'm just. Gonna, should we fight Not those? The same guys? Place right, down right, leaving. Toodlyloo! <laughs> Let's go talk um, to Edgar. Over there! Oh. One of them oh, these. <laughs> That guy's down. Oh. My God! Woo. Oh, okay. You're down. Man, that got dangerous. And you're still unaware. Nice. Let me assist you. And done. Yes. I like our abilities. I really do. Alright, so anyway. Off we go. I'd like to uh, do the eyes of the tomb, um, you know, speaking and wrap up the video, guys. Remorse and pain are precious when binding you to the earth. You. I remember you. What the deuce? What the deuce? Oh my god. Fear be gone. I would harm no child of my making. This is your doing. You made me. Made me this creature. What are you? I am the land. You are our champion. You selected me, chose me, as shall my children yet to come. Oh, crap. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Crap. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. Indeed. Let's go consult Edgar. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. 
You'll set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Interesting. Him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. <laughs> good man, Edgar. Good man. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What now? What, what happened? Now? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned the dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Hmm. Rest assured, I will protect you and your staff. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Indeed. What the deuce is going on here? <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do a little bit of leveling up here Sean off camera. Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. That's really unfortunate that the guy, the priest, is turned. I'm so, I feel so bad. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just level it off camera. Um, maybe do some crafting and stuff. And then I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.